morning, Britain. Data disaster. The police service of Northern Ireland apologises after information about the force's 10,000 serving officers and staff were mistakenly published. Meanwhile, details of more than 40 million voters have been exposed in a cyber attack on the electoral roll in the biggest data breach in UK history. Millions of bill payers could receive compensation as six water firms face legal action over allegations that they failed to properly report sewage spills and pollution incidents. <clears throat> Lucky to be alive. This is the terrifying moment Sergeant Dave Roberts was deliberately pushed off road and his car was sent spinning off the A19 during a high-speed chase. The motor patrol officer tells us why his experience should change people's behaviour on our roads. And uh, it's the great British sunbed dash as scenes like this across holiday sp uh, hot spots across Europe show tourists scrambling to secure sun lounges with one hotel even employing security guards to keep law and order during the great towel dash. We're live in the Costa del Sol where hotel residents are, can you believe this, already queuing up to reside prime spots by the pool. They're supposed to be on holiday, what are they doing? And as a new poll reveals that women in the north, particularly the north-west, might I say, are the funniest in Britain. Are there more lols in Liverpool, or is the beautiful south really the butt of the joke? Let us know what you think. Funnier, northerners or southerners? You clearly must know my opinion. As a Lancashire lass, it's not you a debate, but hilarious. apparently we're debating it, after but hilarious. we know the answer. You are <laughs> hilarious. And summer looks set to make something of a return, but you'll have to be quick to catch it. All that and so much more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Wednesday, 9th of August, 2023. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ranveer Singh and Ed Balls. Uh, a very good morning to you. You know that um, the, the, uh, the, the sunbed story, which is just, it's taking on a life of its own. It's actually, I, it's I find crazy. it hilarious. But can I just admit, I was on holiday recently in Italy and I did set my alarm. You did not. <laughs> Randia. But you know, because we do the show, okay, I'm a naturally early riser. I know, but so, when you go on holiday, no. you're supposed to lie in. Not get right. up at 5 a.m. to for a Sunday. Can I just say, well, no, it wasn't 5 a.m., it was about 7, right? Oh, okay, so you lied in till 7. Right. And then you got up I naturally for a wake Sunday. up anyway that early. But the thing is, I sympathise because the, we went, where we went, I hadn't realised when I was booking it how small the pool area was, right? And there was, about, there was only about 20 sunbeds and the hotel was full, okay? So for the first two days, we got completely stung by this. And so we ended up sitting miserably on little tables on high per perch like this, whilst my son went in and out of the pool, right? And I was like, this is no fun, right? So then day three, I'm thinking, right, I've got to get out there, right? What time are these getting out now? Get in the queue. Out the, yeah. I, so I, I went, but, but here's the thing. I went down and I actually had a swim, you know, at 7 a.m. Okay. Because it was, you could. Yeah. Um, there was no lifeguard there. But, so what I'm saying is, the issue, I'm trying to absolve myself of blame. <laughs> no, just say, Randy, this is so not working, but carry on.